Hi, today I am sharing an idea that I've been developing the last couple of days about an electronic way to track students when using a playoff system. I teach sixth through eighth band and my curriculum consists of a playoff system with 10 ranks. What you're looking at right now is an Excel file that has these 10 ranks up at the top and that's rank one, rank two, all the way down to rank 10 here. Each rank has 10 points. These are the point numbers. The students have a booklet that have all of these points recorded and it tells them what points um, they have. These are the actual points. They're from the Essential Element book. Every rank has scales. Uh, scale name numbers are up here. They're just constant scales. For instance, scale number one is the B-flat contract scale. So in rank one, they need to be able to play the B-flat contract scale. Um, anything past scale five, six through 11 is chromatic scales. They have to do them from memory. So if you look at rank 10, they have to play scales one, two, three, four, five from memory and the full chromatic scale. Whenever they get a point, that means they played something perfectly. We'll just put a one for one point in the box and that records it. It accumulates up here, it says their total number of points is one. The total number of points they got this quarter is one. And most of these points are just counting from the essential elements books number 15, 20, and 42. They have to count out loud, and then the rest of them are playing. And these are just um, examples from the essential elements books. And it takes you through all three essential elements books. So down at the bottom, it's got tabs for what quarter we're in. And you'll notice I entered this in sixth summer, which is when they start. And even though I entered it in sixth summer, that point's still there whenever I go to six quarter one, six quarter two, six quarter three. And I'm just gonna show you a little demo here. I'm gonna write the student's name. I'll use mine. And you'll notice that that name stays there. I've linked all these cells together so that uh, the information goes from quarter to quarter. I like that it highlights so that I can see visually what's been completed. And I'm just gonna say that they points in quarter one, two points in, whoops, don't want that, quarter two, this will take them to quarter three of their sixth grade year, and finally quarter four. We'll say they stopped there. Now what you can do is you can go back and look later on and see how many points they got each quarter. And if we're on quarter four, it'll tell us the accumulated points, number of points they got that quarter. Back at the back, I've got records, and it pulls information from these sheets, and it'll tell you right here how many points they got every quarter. Now, one thing I haven't done yet is I'm going to go through and I'm going to put some formulas in these boxes that will tabulate grades based on how many points they got. I'm also going to put a sheet over here, or a cell, that I can record if a kid misses a performance, uh, like a concert or a ball game. If they miss a ball game, it's going to lower this grade down a half a grade. If they miss a concert, it's going to lower it down a full grade. Then, down here at the bottom, I have the data entry for the actual lesson. You can see that I have it to where if I scroll, I can move down, but the top still stays there visible. So you'd put the date. And I just have text boxes in here. Dates the 26th. I would do this before the actual lesson, so I'm not doing it. I, I do it before school so that the kids aren't having to wait on me. If it's during the summer, you can put down that they paid. I'm cheap. It's only 12 bucks. Practice time. If you want that, you can put that in there an hour, and then you have a record of it always. And new material to cover. Um, so I'm looking here at this kid and I see that they have all these points done. It looks like the next thing I'd really like to do would be maybe point number 62 and 73. So my goal in this lesson is to get 62 and 73 done. So I'm going to write that before school. And so then I'm going to listen to what their previous assignment was whenever the lesson comes around. We're going to cover the new material and then I'm going to assign that if it all goes well. If they didn't do their homework, I'm going to reassign their old assignment. And that way I can see how many weeks in a row that assignment was assigned. And I can put some 
curious notes right there about how they did. Maybe they need to work on tonguing, so I'm going to write that down, and then the next week I'll remember that. I also have a sheet for notes. I'm going to make a Google form that the kids are going to fill out on their own, and it's going to be linked to this so that whenever they fill it out, it's going to uh, record that information up here, parent information, their information, um, the make and serial number of their instrument, which I'll put into an Excel file, uh, an access phone. And then um, through the course of the three years, I can put any notes about anything that happens to their instrument. Maybe they had repairs done, things like that. And then miscellaneous notes that I can keep for the course of the three years. I have done this in a team teaching scenario before, which is really handy because then the other teacher can look and see what happened during the last assignment and what was uh, the last lesson and see what was assigned and pick up from there. And you can both keep track up here of, of what's going on as the points that have been passed. Another feature is there's a graph and the dark black line is the number of points that that student has gotten. Point numbers up here, there's 100 points total. And then zero is just right when they start as a beginner, six summer, six I mean, six quarter one, six quarter two, six quarter three, all the way up to eighth quarter four. And then I have plotted out where I want my honor band to be as far as points, because we work on those points during warm-ups, where I want my regular band to be. That's this dark green line here. And then I have plotted out the number of points grading-wise the kids will have for a B, a C, and a D. And then you can see where this kid falls in. And these are the A plus. They're my honor band students. This is customizable because if you go to the little chart right here, this is what generates that graph. It pulled in my information from what I've typed in, and I manually entered the milestones that I want the band to reach over the course of the year. I've been doing this for seven years, so I know exactly where the band will be on any given day. Um, as you do it the first year, you could put where they actually made it, and it'll record it, and that data will be there for next year. And you can tweak what, uh, how many points you want kids to have for the different grades. I use that information when I look at this graph to see what band the student should be in. This, this kid looks like he's um, kind of following the path of the honor band, so I put him into the honor band. Now, some some things I'd like ideas from people on is, if this was yours, uh, what kind of forms would you want down here that you could fill out? Now, you could customize these to fit your own points for your own playoff system, and it's still going to um, generate the number of points. Now, you'll also notice that up here, on every quarter's tab, I have pulled information from that sheet that I just showed you that I filled out, and it shows you how many points a kid needs to have to get a certain grade, and then you can compare it with how many they have over here. Now, of course, this kid doesn't have very many in 7-3 because we only know this information in 6-4. But uh, in this case, this student would have an A. They have 33 points, and A is 28, so you can see that they fall in the A range. This could be shared with parents. It could be shared with students in an uneditable format so they can see where they fall as far as uh, the different grades. You could also put notes on here about whether they're getting their homework completed or not, and parents could see that if you wanted to share it with them. And it could be used for parent-teacher conferences, for justifying grades. I'm going to make a form that, um, a, that can be run, and it will just spit out the entire class's grades. It'll figure them for you, and then all you have to do is enter them in. I'm also going to generate a form where it'll make a graph of how many points everybody in the band has. It will show who the leaders are. In fact, it'll rank everybody. It'll even do point, um, it'll do chair placement based on number of points. And I'm going to make it to where it'll show uh, the average number of points that everybody has in the band and just a visual of where, where everybody in the band sits. Um, this could even be shared with, with the full band so that the kids can see what the who the leaders are and they can know how many points they need to get to be on the leaderboard and it'll entice them to practice some more. One final thing is I'd like to use smart music with this and I'd like to talk to smart music about this. It'd be neat if it, you could just click on something and it would show that you completed it and that, that is the assignment and then it could link it to your smart music account and if you assign something by clicking on it that would show up as an assignment in their smart music. Let me know what you think. I'd like to know your ideas. Thank you.